so sorry I'm shoving it in your face, but I want to be you. I want to live inside this hot dog. Like I could spend the rest of my years, retirement, golden years, living in this hot dog. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? Welcome back. Welcome back to the whip, the whippersnapper. It is the same day as the pastry video, but now we do a Coney dog shootout. Now there's the big three in the city and these are the ones we're gonna test. We're gonna get a dog from each, how they're supposed to be, be traditionally and see which one is the best. First one, Hotter Greeks, second McKellar Confectionery, my ultimate favorite and Coney Island. Now I haven't had a Hotter Greek or Coney Island, uh, like I, it's, it's longer than I can even remember. So I don't know if things have changed, if things have gotten better over the years, but I am passionate about a Coney dog very much one of my favorite treats to put in my mouth and uh i figure while i have access to the vehicle two birds stoned at once some ricky isms trailer park boys shout out canada again people say i look like ricky i don't know maybe i do maybe i'll go for him as halloween next year okay and then maybe mac miller a year later because i don't want to do it too to do it too soon so while I have access to the whip, I feel like I should just calorie load and just, you know, just go crazy. I have the desserts. Now I'm going to have these dogs and uh, we're going to we're going to see who reigns supreme in the Coney Dog Challenge review head to head battle Logan Paul KSI type thing. You know what I mean? So let's go to it. The first one is a bit of a drive away. So I'll have to see you there. Ken Domic out. All right, here we are in the Arctic tundra of Canada and I'm going into the first place because I'm a little bi. I'm not gonna film in there cause it's just, it's not my vibes, it's weird. But I'll show you the sign and then I'll meet you back in the car with the dog, with the goods. There she be, hotter Greeks. It's all about the Greek Coney dogs, burgers, fries and more. Okay, we're back, baby, and better than ever. So we procured the first Coney dog. Uh, I'll say this, this particular spot in my life, I've had maybe once or twice. Uh, I got her to not wrap it. Usually they'd wrap it, but I wanted you guys to see it in its all its glory. So yeah, this Coney dog, it basically looks like a sloppy kind of, you know, baby doo-doo hot dog, but... I promise you it tastes delicious. So deep look into that sauce. You can see the herbs and spices, got the onion, got the mustard, got the bun, got the wiener. So what we do is we lick this little tidbit first just to see where we're at. Okay. We drop onions everywhere as well at the same time. And then we, uh, we go in to figure this thing out now. Off rip, I'm telling you this, the bun, I could tell it's already not on my level. Something about it is like, it's okay. It's got like a squishy soft niceness to it, but I don't know if it's, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's subpar. Mm -hmm. So. immediately problematic the wiener itself very small if you look deep inside the wiener on the on the skin there on the crisp you can tell it's been uh overcooked and chilling on the grill way too long it's kind of like charred and dry not that cool The sauce itself, it's good, it's decent, but it's overwhelmingly chill chili-ish, like chili powder, chili powder heavy. So. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. 
the amount of mustard on it was pretty perfect though i will say that wasn't overwhelmingly mustardy just had a nice little mustard cut but if i had to rate that thing out of five i'm gonna give it like a 2.5 we could maybe stretch it to a 2.7 but let's not get ahead of ourselves Okay, now we gotta go back down across town to get the next spot, which will be McKellar Confectionery, which will be my OG fave. Okay, so I lied, there's four places. I can't believe I forgot about it. I was just driving by on my way to my other one. I saw it, of course, I had to remember it. I'll show you it real quick from the outside and then I'll be hitting the dog. Okay, let's get some of that more baby soft brown sauce in our mouths okay okay see you in a sec little blue building so this place nippers takeout coney hot dogs it's always been in the conversation i totally forgot though let's check it out okay back from inside with the nippers takeout coney dog now this one immediately is looking much more presentable put together better the bun and everything all looking very good beautiful presentation where they're already getting Good marks on that. I guess I should also mention that the first dog was three bucks. This one was also two ninety. So price points all the same. Once again, I got them to not wrap it, but here we have this bun looking similar, but better. I will say that nice and steamy, nice and soft. I think they even call them that in Detroit, steamies. Nothing to it, but to do it. So, we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. The wiener itself, the dog, different than the last one. Looks like a purely pork wiener, no beef. Off rip, the uh, bun is very nice and steamy, chewy, gooey. The sauce itself is dominant. The mustard is not really, really coming through. Could probably use a little more mustard on the ratio. Mm. sauce itself once again very chili powder forward the sauce itself is not very dynamic it doesn't have a left right left uppercut type spice combo like in my mouth it's just it's very monotone it's very one flavor not really a fan of the wiener finally got some mustard in that one made it a bit better bun was better presentation was better Onions were more evenly distributed. Wiener was cooked better, but not a good wiener. Gonna have to give it, once again, we're in the neighborhood of a 2.7. Nothing to write home about. Not knocking my socks off. It is what it is. Like, it's, it's good for 290. It's a nice little bite, but... I'm not, uh, I'm not traveling far distances into the lands to, to, to get it. You know what I mean? So on to the next one. All right, you guys, we're outside of my OG, the one for me. Okay. And it better be magical today. So I'll show you kind of the outside right from right here. Flip that screen though. So it's literally built into, this is a house with like rental units and stuff. And then boom, she's right there. 
That's where the old man, you see that arm there? That's the lady, but there was an old man who used to run this place. And uh, he's passed now, Gus. They say that the flavor came from him, his, him on the, stacking the dogs on his arm. But it's nice, I like it. And, you know what I mean? McKellar Confec. There it is, Pepsi, baby. Classic. All right, I'm back from inside. Just the smell alone rolling in insured and cradled me in my hopes and dreams that I was gonna get a cut above, a better dog. I you could just smell the quality. You could just smell that it's better. They did a light wrap on it for me. My favorite ladies were in there too. Oh, that's it. Just the smell of it. Beautifully put together. Once again, the sauce, the onions, the mustard, and this bun. This is one of the reasons why they really are just the one. Look at this bun. It's the bun, baby. It's just a nice little more darker, a little more toasted up. The sauce is a little less sloppy. It's kind of amalgamated all in there, congealed, whatever you want to call it, some big word. Oh, just the smell of it. Just me and my friend. Just me and my friend hanging out. Okay? This is me as a stone teenager. You know what I mean? Sunday afternoon, five bucks, grab three, four of these boys, hit the popper. You know, you know what it's like. Okay? The bun. The dog is perfect. I've always just loved the wiener. It immediately just has this different flavor. All those other ones have that very, like I said, chili powder forward recipe. Something in this is so... The best way I can describe it is like, there's a certain fat content in the sauce it gives it this like this rich depth. It's just so Mmm. It's so rich. And it's not chili powder powder forward. It's almost like it's like all spice, cinnamony, nutmeggy with the chili powdery heat like and you see how the inside of the bun, it gets like this like sludgy sog to it, which is low key. One of the most amazing parts of it. Today, this dog is hitting on, on all cylinders. I'm completely happy. So, sorry, I'm shoving it in your face, but I want to be you. I want to live inside this hot dog. Like I could spend the rest of my years, retirement, golden years, living in this hot dog. I want a condo in here. I'm never moving out. Five out of five. Five out of five. Absolutely five out of five. Especially because there was like seven old ladies in there. They looked like the Golden Girls. And it was just a cute experience, okay? They were having ladies tea type jam over Coney Dogs. And if that's not respectable, then I don't know what is. Okay? So, on to the next one. And this is the last one. Coney Island, which is... Between these two, Coney Island and this one, where's where there's like them's fighting words. This is where hands get tossed. This is where like true lovers in each camp are like Nabra, like Springfield and that other weird town in The Simpsons. So to me, the Keller Confectionery is Springfield and then Coney Island is the other city. I, it's, see, I don't even remember. It's, it's that not, not important to me.
Shelbyville. Shelbyville. Coney Island is Shelbyville, but we will see. So I'll head over to Shelbyville now and see what we can get, see how it is, and see if it competes. I'm thinking no already, but, you know, it's hard to beat a 5 out of 5. It's hard to beat a perfect score. But let's go. Let's go check it out. And Coney Island. There she be. There's the storefront. I'll see you back with the dog. All right, y'all. I'm back from inside Coney Island. I have got the dog. Uh, this is the final stop on the Coney Dog Shootout Tour 2019. Okay. So, uh, right off rip, we have a little extra mustard on top of the bun, which, you know what, I'm kind of excited for. I feel like the mustard has been a, bit, a little bit lost in this whole adventure. So maybe this one will showcase it a little bit more. Uh, trending theme, though, is that clearly they all come on this wax paper, which is cool. I'm here for it. I'm about it. Their presentation is good. I like it. Very well done. Very well put together. Sauce looks good. Onions look good. Bun is good. Nice and steamy. Not as good as the last one, I would say, but it's resembling the other two that I started with, the Hotter Greeks and the Nippers. This one's looking a little better than those, but it's, it's on par, it's on pace, okay? Smells pretty standard. Let's go for it. Okay. Immediate thoughts are the dog itself, like the Hotter Greeks, has been chilling on the grill a little too long. It's got the dry, crispy edge. Not quite as bad as the first one, but it's not, uh, it's got a little too much resistance on it. Bun's good. It's got good chew. This one is fairly mustard heavy. The sauce itself It's more relative to the first two. It's got that, like I said, the chili powder-ish thing, but it, this one is, is more, it's got a bit of a better fat content and it's not so heavy on the chili, but it is a little more like that, a little more that style. It's not like the McKellar confectionery one. That said though, this is taking, uh, it's ranking over the first two. But I feel like it lives in their realm. Okay, so four dogs down. You know what? And that one, I'll give. I want to be generous and give it a four. It was, it was quite good. I might hit it at a 3.8 though. It's just how I'm feeling. So out of the four, it would rank as such. Last place, Hotter Greeks. Third place, Nippers. Second place, West Fort, Coney Island. First place, McKellar Confectionery, hands down. Undisputed. Now, the fact that I'm from here and I've lived here, I, w when I was younger, I didn't have, you know, the, the ability to go do this. I've never got to eat them back to back, head to head. I've never gotten to do this. So it's just like, I'm fulfilling like a childhood fantasy of mine. And let me say it was everything I wanted it to be because what's bad about just eating a bunch of Coney dogs? Nothing. Uh, I learned some things along the way and that is that my suspicions all along were correct. My local, my childhood, hood favorite is and was and always will be the top dog. It can't be beat and, and the others just can't compete. So I'm sorry, but it's just, you're just not there. And 
it, they have a secret to their sauce and just their buns are more on point. Um, I know this means nothing to all of you watching unless you ever plan to visit here, which I don't know really why you would. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on here, to be honest with you. It's a pretty blue collar town. In the summertime, it's pretty nice if you go like look at the Sleeping Giant and the lake and things like that, but outside of that, I mean, if you're outdoors and you like to like do stuff like that, I guess, maybe go portage and shoot a moose and eat trail mix and hike a mountain, then it might be the place for you. So if, if that's your vibe, by all means, and then you can have some Coney Dogs after as well. So uh, the other thing I did learn too on this was that when you go into these establishments where I think people usually go in and order Coney Dogs, you usually order like three, four dogs. Across the board, every time I ordered one singular Coney Dog, there was just like a look of almost disappointment, disdain, <laughs> almost anger, and like confusion of like one Coney dog? Like that's all you're getting? And I understand that because I usually go to my place and I'll get three to four. So um, I was throwing curveballs today, but at a few places I did tell them I'm having a Coney dog shootout across Thunder Bay. So uh, they, they uh, I don't think people really understood it. I don't think people got it, but I sure did. And I hope you did too. Very fun, very enjoyable. I got to figure out some more of these to do because these are fun episodes. Um, that said, though, try your hand at making a nice Coney dog, or if you have them in your city, go get some because, hey, I love a good Coney dog, and you should too. But till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.